What's up, y'all? So, Messy Monday, Drama Alert, Chris and Soldier, Jump Kanye, <laughs> T.I. and Kaylee Nicole. T.I. Ty and Kaylee Nicole fall out again and more. Messy Monday. Let's get into this video. Yizig and hurry up. Hurry up. What's up, y'all? She girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And if you are new, welcome to the league. I already read the title. Let's get it. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a key key. First on the dock and then I'ma talk shit. I'm a sugar honey iced tea. Do you wanna sell now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get it. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right, T Cups, as always, shouts out to you for making it through another week because there is a lot going on. You have Hurricane okay. Ida, okay. you have COVID, COVID okay. Delta, okay. all of this stuff, but you are still here to see Shout another Monday. God, so baby. shouts out to you because, honey, it is hard out here, okay? So if you are new to my channel, please take the time to hit that subscribe button. And while you at it, subscribe. hit the bell so you can get notified yeah. when I post That's a video, visual, visual, okay? Yeah. Thank you and welcome to the Zonady. I need all my fellow Zonady members and the new people to hit the thumbs up on this video. Bust it wide open, honey, like some okay. y'all, okay? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, and we'll get straight on into this stuff. But before I start, I want to give a special shout out to my friend, and that is Lex. Bitch. Liz, thank you so much for having my Twitter notifications on. You were the first to comment on my post. And I just want to say thank you so much for being so supportive. So I am taking the time out to show you appreciation for being there for me. Okay, friend? Hey, bitch. All right, y'all. And then we got that out of the way. It's been a little mess the week. And the girls is out here messing around and Hurry being up. foolish. So we're going to get into, into y'all's favorite part. And that is the shit. The sugar honey ice tea because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Laena, La Laena, girl, the pregnant girl, and Kim Kaiser. So child, let me tell you, gonna mama, stop coming my brother. go lay. Because you out here posting this picture, trying to prove a point to us that you've been with this man, I guess, what, five months or so? Because mind you, we was out here saying she was with the man for two months and then got pregnant, so she trying to be funny when really Miss Mamas is being messy, messy, messy to let the girls know, oh, I've been with him, I've been had this, I've been did that. No, girl, what you been did was become a baby mama. Oh. All that. <laughs> now, I ain't trying to be shady, but girl, the way you get them is how you gonna lose them, because if I'm not mistaken, wasn't he with some other girl before he was even with this? Girl, no. Ooh. Y'all know me. When I got somebody I love, bitch, we all have our favorites. And I mean, even Zoe, my favorite, because after I argued with him on Messy Monday, which he don't know, I argue with him on Messy Monday, he make another video, I'm all into the video. <clears throat> but me and him argue on Messy Monday. Y'all want me to react to Messy Monday, I have to argue with Zoe. Every fucking Monday, all right? <clears throat> Y'all gonna stop coming for my fucking brother, okay? King ain't do shit. He didn't have sexual relations with that woman, all right? And damn, you, you, if you have sex with a woman and you have sex unprotected, it is a possibility that you become pregnant. I'm not understanding what the issue is here. You know what I'm saying? This girl, so that means if he was with that other girl before he was with this girl, if this girl been with him for five months, so she say, because I think they've been fucking around. That means he was messing with you while he was messing with her. And then, girl, I guess you must have had the good clap back on her when they got pregnant first. So that's why he left her and came to you. But if she would have got pregnant first, girl, he might have stayed. Well, or maybe he was 
just trying to figure out where he wanted to be. I don't know, but the point is, girl, you're next in line. I'm just saying, girl, I just don't see it happening, honey, because the way he dogged his baby mama that he was with for years, and said he was never in love with her and all this other I don't understand what's wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? If you wasn't in fucking love with somebody, you wasn't. At the end of the day, they was in high school. They were children. Hell, they still out of me, but for real, they was young. You know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I don't understand that. They was real young. They ain't know what the fuck they want. That was straight puppy love. Then they ended up getting older, making some money, and they had a child. He probably wasn't in love with her ass like that. He found another woman that made him happier in a different way. I don't think nothing is wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? It just He didn't waste her time. That is crazy. Whatever they shared was good in that moment. But if he felt like he found a different love, y'all, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing embarrassing about that. That's crazy. If you know you're not in love, that that don't mean he knew he he that does not mean he knew he wasn't in love. Baby, can I tell him the story? Yes, when when TT and I got together, TT told me that she was not in love with her baby daddy. And I was with him for 14 years. She was with him for 14 years. So this ain't even got nothing to do with King. I just feel where he coming from. But TT said that she was not in love with him. I showed her a different type of love. Y'all, I loved him, yes. she loved him, yes, but was she in love with him? No, and I don't think he was in love with her. No. Them niggas didn't, they was young but too. The idea of love. Yeah, like you fall in love with the idea of the idea. Got like, them just, just being with somebody and, you know, they have a child, whatever. This is why I argue this down. You know what I'm saying? Because she told me like, I wasn't in love with him. Ain't no way. Not not the way you're loving me. You know what I'm saying? They had you you have shit going on. He found maybe he should have said he found a different type of love, Jerrica. Maybe that's what he should have said. I found a different type of love. Not that I I wasn't in love with her, or maybe he wasn't. He wasn't. Well, hell, he said he wasn't. Right. He said he wasn't. So he he wasn't in love with her. He found a different type of love. Nothing is wrong with that. That woman loved him different than Neek did. And another man is going to love Neek different than what King did. She might fuck around and say the same shit. And if she say it, it won't be as bad as him saying it. Girl. What's up, child? <laughs> Good luck to you, boo. This is going to be a short race friend. I'm fine. But anyway, if you look at the picture, she was like, this is our first picture. That was on March. Then she said, no, I lied. It was in February. Girl, you thought you ate that. <laughs> you don't go sit down somewhere and just pick me. Be quiet. These girls be out here happy to become somebody's baby mama. <laughs> Next. I mean, if that's the new thing, I don't want it. So since she done came out, she let the girls know that she did not get pregnant in two months. She got pregnant in five months. Y'all need to get off her back, honey, and let her do her thing and have this and baby. And that's shade, in but when is it a time to get pregnant? Like, when the fuck do you make a time to get pregnant? Can I tell them the story, too? TT yes, got pregnant off of pre-cum with her first child. Pre-cum. In that case, would you say TT should have had on the condom? Yes. Okay. In that in that case, with them, the same thing. But I mean, who puts a time on when I want to get pregnant? Like, I just it's a lot. Peace. Okay. So, all right. If it ain't about me, how long do y'all think it's gonna be before she be single with a baby? Next. Next with the sugar honey ice tea. Yeah. <laughs> Next to the sugar honey iced tea, we have Jordan. Now, Jordan, you've been gone for a little minute. Why well, I can read his lips. Lord, I 
ask that you watch over my son. Then she goes on and she says, this shit right here had me crying all motherfucking night. <laughs> God damn it, Jordan. I know this helper didn't use a TikTok meme. I have a question. When y'all got out of the car the other day, and my old man was right here. Why would y'all be in rude? Because that right there made him cry all motherfucking night. Bitch, if you don't go away, <laughs> I know damn well you didn't take the time to tweet that. And did you look at it and think about it before you tweet it and be like, you know what? This seems a little funny and not serious. Bitch, you ought to be slapped. Maybe the daddy need the child. <laughs> Hashtag bring back junior. Bitch, you're acting like you don't know where he is. We know where he is. He went to daddy. I looked at it and was like, oh, they done killed the baby. God forgive me for saying that. But how she came about it, I'm like, what done happened to the baby? Where the baby come to find out the daddy done took the baby on his cousin, on the cousin live or some shit like that. Like, she act like she just don't know where the baby is. Bitch, get off of Twitter. We can't do shit for you. Get off of Twitter. Why are you telling us? Call the police and say my baby daddy done took my child last time I seen that he was on live with his cousin and they done booked it somewhere. What the fuck we gonna do? <laughs> Hashtag bring back Junior. <laughs> they need to take Junior away from both you crazy niggas. Okay. That's what they need to do. I was up crying all night. <laughs> Had me up crying all motherfucking Somebody night. Slap this woman. <laughs> I yeah, miss my baby. Right. I just want my son. Girl, how long was he gone? Two, Probably been two, three days. Two hours. Probably been two days. Well, it hasn't been 48 hours yet. Can we, can we file him as a missing person? <laughs> <laughs> Jordan! Oh my God, this is not funny. This is not funny because this is a woman's child. I understand that the woman's child is gone. The man took the baby. She don't know what the baby is in for. I mean, <laughs> you got in a fight with the baby. Went to jail with the baby in your stomach. What more can that baby go through? That baby is strong. It's the shade for me. I'm sick of his ass. That baby has been through some shit <laughs> before he even entered this world. I bet the baby probably said, please, somebody take me away from it. <laughs> oh my God, he didn't shit with the mama. He can take it from the daddy. He was in jail before he could even talk. Oh, Jesus, what else she the damn wrote? A fan was like, he was just on live with his cousin. I think they headed to Belusa Love or whatever the fuck they said. Well, how the hell they know where he going? <laughs> you don't even know. Because you too busy tweeting, bring back George, Junior, Justin, Jordan, whatever the fuck. Bring back him when you should have been watching what the fuck they watching. Then right. she gonna say, who was on live? When was this? I need my baby ASAP. Well, you don't want him too fast if you ain't found no report with the police officers and you talking to us. Hey, hell, girl, like I said, you baby. know that damn daddy got that baby. You know damn well that baby with that damn daddy. Hell, we gonna do. Lord uh, have mercy. I bet the baby like, look, let me run away on my own. Can I go stay with Nana? Okay. <laughs> let me go with Nana. All right. Well, I hope the baby got home. I hope everybody's good. How do you get the baby anyway? I think she, did she take the baby to get dropped off with the banana? Child, she probably the, the one who's one was like, come get your child. You need to have your child sometime. He probably like, God damn, I, 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 I have whoever come get him because I know he didn't. And then whoever came and got the baby and child, he probably had that baby for two days, didn't answer the phone or some shit. You know he ain't answered the phone. You want me to get him? I got him. God damn, don't call him. And now she, I want my baby back. Yeah, there. The baby, some shit did he go out? Fuck it. If it ain't about me, please bring this girl, her baby, <laughs> next game. <laughs> next to the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Young Blue and Shauna, Shawana Phillips. We're gonna just call her Shauna. Child, I don't know what the hell is going on with y'all people and taking these folks children, but stop taking these folks children without their permission. So, child, here go another missing baby. 
Lou done went to his Facebook. I don't know why the hell y'all keep coming to us trying to help get your children back. We can't get your children. We're not the fat and we're not the police. So please stop coming to us telling us to get your children. <laughs> get your all child. So he went on Facebook and he said, I got $2,500 to ever consider the location of Shawana Phillips and Corbin. And I'm like, nigga, if you don't know the location, okay, how the fuck we supposed to know the location? And then led with money. We don't know where she at. That's what? your baby mama. <laughs> so anyway, he did go on and he said, she took Corbin after I let her see him for her mama's funeral and she refuses to give him back. But that sounds like a personal issue. I sent like 1500 just for Corbin to go with her a couple of days ago. He doesn't live with her, and I haven't asked her for anything. She has been kid-free for two years, but she wants to blame me for where she is in life. Demanding money and agreement if he's not returned. But when she Respectfully, if she ain't had that baby in two years, and she asked for that baby two years later, you should have knew that was some shit. It was some shit that was going to come with it. And then, y'all, how old is that baby? Because he paid $1,200 for a flight for the baby. I know that baby flight wasn't $1,200, y'all. I don't know how old. I mean, I don't know how old you got to be to fly free or whatever. Maybe you can't. Maybe you ain't flying free. But Damn. Flights and then two twenty five for his suit, and she ain't seen that baby in two years. Ah, that baby probably would have missed that funeral. I ain't gonna lie. She it. sees it. She's gonna go and make up lies justifying why she took him. But I have receipts with her bribing me, asking me for money. So I'm just like, she okay, it's sad because you know a man usually doesn't get custody of the child. It's always a woman. So maybe the girl really do got mental issues, whatever case may be. No, ooh, she ooh, wanted ooh. to kidnap. So then when she her come child. out. I ain't gonna lie, mama read him for filth. She let him have it, but she never said why she took the child or anything about the kidnapping. She just read him for points. But look, why you out here lying to these folks out here trying to diminish my name? I have mental issues. Tell these folks you the one that really got the mental issues. We both know ain't a damn thing wrong with me, so go ahead and take your meds in peace. Before I call them people on you, you're known for playing the victim. Same way you blasted Gainesville's police department, but then you had to turn around and apologize to him knowing your license was suspended. And I was like, oh child, she did get him there because honey, wow. he was out here running his mouth, whooping and hollering, just acting like he was just in the right. When honey come to find out, he knew his license was suspended. Wow. So he had to apologize for even making them folks look like they was trying Nigga to be even raised. said, I'm scared to leave my house and I e scared. <laughs> I'm scared to leave my own house. You know, one thing I'm going to say, you know, black men might be upset about this. But just how is it that you can, maybe you shouldn't say this. How is it you can beef and go to war with Deontay, but become such a bitch when it comes to Charles? Dylan. Ivory, I don't know. I'm scared to leave my house. <sighs> but now you out here trying to make like she kidnapped this child and she did so and so and so and so. She got mental issues. But how can we come and believe you 100% when you just pulled this other stunt? Let's keep reading what she said. Your retarded, rolling braid looking ass can't even spell. <laughs> You was in special ed. <laughs> Not calling him retarded and rolling Ray, and she uh, had a baby with him. He wasn't that rolling. He wasn't rolling Ray like that. If you was on the dick, friend. <laughs> Damn, sis. And then for her to put that picture. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Was that rolling Ray? <laughs> oh, my God. She wrong for I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? We just want to know, did you take the child? Did you kidnap the child? You out here calling this man retarded. He <laughs> ain't supposed to say that word. That word is uh, forbidden. Uh, but she said that. Then she turned and said you was in special ed. And you're looking like, bro. <laughs> I'm like, sis, 
is really bad. You really out here talking a lot of shit for someone who doesn't take baths and has a bed bug infestation. I'm <laughs> like, well, damn. Didn't you have a child with this nigga? That's right. Like, oh, they got bed bugs and don't take baths. So right. He did all this. Now, wasn't he doing that with you? Uh-huh. So if he got bad boys, bitch, you was getting big too. Uh-huh. He was laying down you making just this baby. nasty with your nasty ass. I don't see how women can do that. Like, uh, he was nasty, dick little, she stank, whatever. Like, you did all that, but she was with me. It was with me <laughs> when I was all of that. So I just, I'm not understanding. You probably just as bad. Not even probably. You are just as bad. I mean. So what you're really <laughs> saying is you got all this shit. So it, you reading him, but you're reading yourself. But anyway. <laughs> nigga walking around with his head looking like a large McDonald's fry. Well, bitch, you have <laughs> nothing with that large Mac- <laughs> Girl, she was the Big Mac to that fry. <laughs> Not the Big Mac. She was the Big Mac to that fry. McDonald's fries. <laughs> what the fuck? You out here trying to downplay him. Like, sis, don't do that now, girl. We just want to know, did you take the child? Did you kidnap the child? Why are you bribing him for money? You answered everything but what we need you to answer. You read him, you talked about him, you called him retarded, talked about the bed bugs, but did you take that child? Did you bribe him for that money? That's what we want to know. That's what we need to get down to. And if you're not going to talk about it, next, can we talk to the church? Yeah, that when dude. he was with me, he was clean. When he was with me, we had bad bugs. When he was with me. <laughs> but right after that, how you know? How you know? Her ass was right, there. right there. Tell us what's going on, because they don't tell the truth. Can Corbin talk? Can um Junior talk? We need to talk to them. Because y'all doing a whole lot of, whole lot of nothing. If it ain't about me, somebody come take these babies. Next case. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Soul Boy and Chris Brown versus Kanye. Now, child, after waiting a century for this album to finally drop, okay. it is so much mess behind this album. I mean, from promising people you gonna put them on and don't put them on, from putting people on without permission to dragging the release day, marrying Kim, then you flying up to heaven like your soul's just been saved and sanctified and filled the Holy Ghost, burning on fire, having 20,000 CD release parties. It's just like, what the fuck is going on? So, Soldier Boy comes out and Soldier Boy says, I don't know how to feel. Kanye sent me the song Remote Control and I don't hear my verse on it. Hmm. That nigga. This nigga Kanye tell homie don't hit my phone no more. And everybody know when Soldier Boy start talking, receipts gonna start flying. So he kept going and he said, This nigga Kanye is weird as fuck. Fuck that nigga Kanye with this track coming soon. I'm tired of staring this clown ass niggas. And then after that, he shows the Texas and people was like, oh, that's not real, that's fake. Woo, woo, woo. And I'm like, oh, but he does. Did y'all forget when he texts the baby? When he was trying to release the baby song, Jail Part 2 on the album, but he was saying that his record label was not giving him the release to do that on his album. That's so then yeah. he texted him and had them spaces between it, but then the record label came up and said, no, we didn't get no text from him. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. I feel like that's Kevin. Baby, anyway. why wouldn't we have the baby on a song that we know is gonna do good? So I'm like, right. well, who's telling the truth? Did you not text him or did you text him, Kanye? Did you tell Soulja Boy you gonna put him on there? Did you not? Then all of a sudden, here come Chris Brown talking about some Kanye a whole ho. Nah, he tweaking. I'm like, well, what the fuck did he do to Chris? You know what? I love you Chris. Know, Chris, Chris I'm Chris I think Kanye, see, he's smart. He's been fucking with Miss Chris Jenner and he know how to do this scam one-on-one. I think he done got with these folks. <laughs> told him to do this to bring hype around Dunda. That's what I think because ain't no damn. Have y'all listened to that shit? I'm gonna tell y'all right now. That first song had me all the way fucked up. Well, hell, it wasn't a song. It was a chant. I don't like saying three things, three of the same things at one time. I can't say marshmallow three times. I don't want to say red three times. Girl, it was just Donda over P. 
a Donda chant. Most uncomfortable shit I've ever experienced. Way! Ain't no way! You done did that, Chris Brown. Now, so do I, I can believe it, but Chris Brown, I believe it. But then you turn around and you snap on your own record label said they released the album before you even had the baby thing clear. Long, so man. you mad at them. You know what? It's all at this point, Donda man, because you didn't See, pull a boo? picture on the damn album cover. You put the black thing. Donda! <laughs> I'll be okay with that. <laughs> Did he tell you he was gonna that you? chant? Nah, because that chant messed with my head. That's like calling. I'm trying to tell y'all. Girl, after the third one, I skipped it. Oh, oh, oh. No, ma'am. Ah. Give this shit the fuck. You ain't gonna don the chant me to death, bitch. Hey, I'm a no, black. What the fuck going on? This messy. Kanye is being messy. We didn't even go so messy. So then Soulja Boy didn't stop there. Soulja Boy came back and he said, Tell this nigga Kanye stop calling my phone. So I'm guessing Kanye calling him, whatever the case may be. He said, That's why Kim left your bipolar ass. <laughs> Oh my god. Relax. This nigga Kanye is so pussy. Lame ass nigga thought he could be president. Goofy. <laughs> I can't wait to hear Drake Take, album. Nigga, it's okay to be left. How you mad that you left off somebody Okay, else's Kayla. Album? Okay. Shit just start moving because something not, you not heard a word three times. Fucking bass just start raising up in the air like, what the fuck? <laughs> I swear that's exactly how I felt. Like the first two times I heard it, I was like, oh, okay. Then that third one, and then I, after I heard the third one, I went to <laughs> to see what the first song was called, and it said Donda Chant. Oh, no, no, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear no chants. Girl, pop the, <laughs> pop the headphones off. The fuck is this? How many times you got to say it? Girl. Relax, sir. <laughs> Uh -uh. This is not even your shit. Soldier Boy didn't hit one of these lines, and he is oh, geeked up, and he is out here uh, acting a fool. Soldier Boy, relax. It's a, it's okay. People get left off songs every day. Ask Asian Dog. <laughs> 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 I didn't mean like that. Anyway, at this point, I really believe hey, the record label is conjuring up all this to push the, you know, Kanye smart as shit. <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's get geeking. Okay. Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Two Feet and Shea London. So, child, they done called the woman. Mind you, no, it wasn't heard. no music on it. It didn't have to be no music on it. Her phone number in his phone. Why you got her phone number in your phone, Tootsie? Why is her number in your phone? Wait, phone number? Two Feet and Shea London. So, child, they done called the woman. Mind you, he still got the girl's phone number in his phone. Why you got her phone number in your phone, Tootsie? Why is her number in your phone? And then when they called this heifer, she picks up and she don't even say, who is this? She says, hello. Oh, nigga, y'all been talking. <laughs> y'all been fucking around. Hello? Like, nigga, what's up? Why are you so comfortable picking up the phone and just say, hello? Hello? Hey. How long was y'all kicking it? Me and Shorty? Mm hmm So, boom. We had, I won't lie, it, it was... Some time. It was a little minute. I don't know. I don't be, you know, bro. You was feeling her. Oh, because uh, she messed it up. Call her. Back. Yeah, I'm about to call her real quick. Like, nah, I ain't done it. <laughs> Hello. Can I, uh, let me just ask you a question. I don't want to say your name, right? Because I'm live on this podcast right now and I'm sitting here, I'm interviewing Tusi, right? Then he just told this story about how this Philly girl crushed his fucking heart and how he thought she was the one. And you know how he's he's physically and mentally wounded from Philadelphia women now, all because of you. <laughs> you turned him he out. Said, this is a joke. This is a joke. I fucked him up sexually. Yeah, he, he said was that. Trying to fuck me up mentally, so I just fucked him up a different way. Now, child, I don't know what y'all think, but something ain't right with this situation. Is that but not I ain't old? Been, I ain't been making mess. It ain't none of my business. He say he like his girl. He with his girl. He made it. No, I got a girl. That girl ain't gonna say nothing. 
These women on me saying that. Y'all, this video is an hour. Just give me a second. My girl, like, as did y'all ever reconnect and kick it? Y'all ain't that you, nah, 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 hell nah, nah. I got a girl right, now. Nah, nah, I ain't talking about, I ain't yeah, talking nah, about, I'm saying I got a before girl then, now. before yeah, nah, the girl. That's what I'm saying, I got a girl now. But I feel like when people be doing that, they trying to cover their tracks. But child, anyway, so then the girl go on her Instagram and she put these questionnaires up there and people ask her questions. And some of these questions just coming off real sketchy. So I said, You still talking to him on the low? She said, LOL, I'm not trying to be low. Like, okay, bitch, well. You talking to him on the high? <laughs> what the fuck going on? I was his girl, I'm leaving his ass. Do you still fuck with him? And she said he cool. Like this girl know what she doing. She know exactly what she's doing. So maybe he not fuck with her and maybe she's just doing this to fuck with some average head. But I, girl, at this point, I ain't got time for my games. I ain't know what the hell going on. Either y'all finna cut this off now or what the fuck going on? So then, so then she answers more questions and more questions. Somebody else says, y'all still fuck with each other now. She said, he cool. Bitch, that was a yes or no question. Do you right. still fuck with him now? Yes or no? He cool. Bitch, you know what? You want to get slapped. I will spit in your mouth since he didn't. He did too. You know what? At this point, this hoe on her ass will smile. You a good one. Anyway, one nothing else said, child, this man talked about how this girl messed him up and she did this, but then you talk about how you were in music for Samara J and you ain't got time for music because you, you got a girlfriend and you focused on that. But this girl hurt your heart, child. You know what, this is gonna be around too. Okay. It is what it is. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. All right, child, that's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, it, we have Jack Boy versus Kodak Black. Girl, they I are am hilarious. speechless about this because these two are friends and nobody wins when the family feuds. Like, that is crazy to me. Um, they were on live and from what I'm getting, they were fussing about some money issues that has been going on behind the scenes and then also who's the best Haitian rapper. But child, hey, it is what it is. It's what these men want to do. Let these men do what these men want to do. But it's very much getting me Carisha and Santana at this point. It's so soft. Man. Did I whoop you? Hey, did I whoop hey, you when we was just rapping your song? I whoop you when we was just rapping your hey, song? No, 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 did I beat no, no, no. you up rapping hey, your own song before? Did I beat you up rapping your own song before? Did I beat you up rapping your own song before? You talking about get a little or pay somebody? That's what that's what you do. You talking about set set it off so I can set it off. That nigga got a hey, smile listen, in that, that, that. Look, he ready to be so Instagram with it. Man, get off my... You signed me for one album, Kodak. One album. So when you... I told you... You can lead the horse. Hey, this one... First I, you can lead the horse to the water, but you can't force the horse to drink. Fuck me! That's why you blocked me the first time. He said I made you. No, you... Look, look. What type of... want to be signed to you? What type of want to be signed to you? You lame, like. He said, we the reason we met. Lame. So that brings some nigga beat him up. Go eat some food first. I'm telling you, I don't want to kill you all. I still love you. I got all type of love for your mom. I don't care what you say. That's still my God, son. That's still my God, son. This shit gotta weird. beat his daddy up. That's all. He be like, look, can I gotta get your daddy in a little quick headlock? I still love, that's still my God, son. I don't want to hurt you. Whoa, you might. I'm a beat you. So like I've been doing, like I've been did. You tripping? You talking about you made me? How? Whoa, well, bro. When I got out of jail, I had ten thousand dollars to my name. How you made me because you tagged me on Instagram. You tagged me on Instagram. I got six hundred k followers with ten bands to my name. How you made me? When you went to jail, I made millions. You was the problem. <laughs> talking about you talking about pull up. You got a hundred. You got a hundred protect you you not there listen tag trailer tag trailer get in the ring i'm gonna pull up to trailer ring i'm gonna get in there and whoop you i'm gonna whoop you you got a hundred protect you you not doing oh pull up you not oh i'm not stupid i'm smart that's the difference between me and you look at you man man 
Man, you I'm glad he ain't got his hair like all the mother Florida niggas. That's good. It's so much other that to compete with. You ain't no soldier. You pit man. I I'm glad I ain't was around. Then Donald Trump let you out on some wild party. Boy, you ain't about to sacrifice me, boy. I ain't hanging around. Here. Okay. Talking about pull up. I don't want to hang out with you, boy. You wanna? You ain't about to suck none. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm not making love, man. He said, I showed DJ how to steal a car. You remember when I was stealing cars? You said you ain't want to hop in? What is he talking about? You remember when I was stealing cars? You ain't want to come in with me? Kodak, tell him that. When I stole a car, you said, no, nah, I don't want to come in. Of course, you stealing cars out of the hood. I wouldn't want to come what in. What I either. did, it, what I did, what you did in that Project Baby video, stealing the car at the corner store, that was what I did. You ain't even do that. Okay, now, bitch, I am on both their sides. Because Jack Boy look like he bite. Call that man, look like he barked. So, bitch, I don't want no problems, <laughs> okay? I don't want no problems. What really gave okay. me was when Jack was like, look, nigga, I'm not getting sacrificed for you. I'm not finna meet you, nigga. I ain't crazy. Okay. <laughs> what? what? That? You think I'm finna kill you? It's an Illuminati real? <laughs> and I over here thinking like, this man defended Kodak so much with NBA Youngboy. Now look at this shit. But wait a minute, if I'm not mistaken, let me go back in my notes. Didn't they say the first chance Kodak Black got, he was that cool with NBA and was throwing salt on Jack Boy's name? And they said the only reason that Jack Boy was defending Kodak was because NBA's camp was smashing Jack Boy's girl. Oh, see, it's a whole lot, a whole lot of all oh, these men be so messy. See, I don't know if I'm wrong. Correct me in the comments, y'all. It just be so much going on. Yeah, I can't I don't even know keep what up. The you know, sometimes I may stumble and fumble, but bitch. One thing I do know, real is real, and right now these niggas ain't real. But child, I don't know. Ooh, I thought it was like Batman and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> but, ooh, okay, well, mm, 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 mm. this is really sad. People was in the comments talking about some, you can't change on the folks who put you on, but I guess maybe they really mad behind the scenes because how you go to jail, beef with NBA, but then come out and then y'all cool. I don't know. Maybe it's, see, you know, it's a lot. All right, whatever. Mm -hmm. What? If it ain't about me, let's get keepin'. Okay. Next little ducket, we have being so famous versus Corey. Child, Mama ate his ass up from the beginning to the middle to the end. Not being so hit fucking up. Uh, Messy Monday. King and it'll never be the same. Most Hispanic people gonna go out and grab before a black person would. Now y'all tell me who won. The Asia, please don't keep on. Corey been talking about that one black time. women for the longest. Because you got money, don't make I already you seen it. And last I heard, your going broke. You ain't no millionaire. Killing ain't fair, but somebody got to do it. Oh, yeah, my bad for all of the people out of this in this song. But we all going to blame Corey Pritchett. Mr. Big Mouth. Fuck, it's for all the black girls you've been talking about. A rich Come on, 11, 11. And I think another reason why you don't like black girls, because we ain't going to let you cheat on us. I guess that's a common thing. Now, we should have known Corey was going to come out and start barking, honey, because that's all Corey would do. Bark, 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 I don't even know who the girl is. I swear to God, I don't. But I haven't heard the song, but I think I know people just said something about I hate black women. We on the same Yeah, I know for all my people that got coming since I know y'all tired of Nah, she so did. Like, at this point, if you still saying that Corey hate black women, you part of the problem. That just simply as it get. You know Corey what I'm saying? Like you are problem. part of the problem. Now, Corey, you want to sit here and say that we are part of the problem because you, out of your mouth, say the things you say about the black women. We didn't tell you to go on live and say it's always you black women that be in my DMs talking down on Corman. You be downing black women to uplift your woman, he and did. that's not right. Granted, yes, it might be black women in your DMs, but you are a black man, so you're going to have black followers, so those black followers are going to get upset when you cheat on your woman, regardless of whatever her race is, white, Chinese, Puerto Rican, black, yellow, green, purple, they going to take up for that woman. 
They're going to say then, they're going to say, oh, that woman's crazy for still dealing with your black ass because you've cheated on her numerous of times or you did her wrong numerous of times. So they're going to get in your DMs and say that because you are putting your life on social media. So they're going to be in your DMs, your black followers, because you are a black Man. That's a fact. So if you didn't get on here and say, oh, it's always black women who ain't got nothing, or their hair is like this, and they jealous as Cormac got her eyelashes always did, it's like you're belittling black women. It's like he forget what the fuck he be saying. But who ain't gonna forget it is black women. Like, I know y'all getting tired of this. If if you don't get what I'm saying, you're a part of the problem. No, you are the problem, sir. You're the problem. Your mama black, bruh. Your mama black. Crazy. For your woman. Period. Then he gonna try to throw shade at this girl and call her Big Binks. Knowing her name. <laughs> she is, she's a thicker woman. So he threw shade right there, but y'all okay? He said, what's her name? Big B, Big Bink. But all right, let me go see can I find this shit. What was her name, y'all? I don't even know. Big Rink. What is it, Big Rink? Her name Big Rink, I think. Let me see. Big Rink. Bitch, you know her name was Bink so okay. bad. Let's talk about what's her name? Big Binks, Big Beat. <laughs> yeah. You gotta talk about the good stuff he said, though. So, that's a girl, man. I don't, she did her thing, though. Okay. It's a YouTube thing. Y'all be tweeting shit. I bless, I bless more black women than any goddamn thing, so how would I not like black women? He goes on his nonsense rants like he always do. Corey, I love him. He is so fine to me, y'all. But Corey be a little off sometimes. Y'all just gotta bear with Corey because sometimes Corey says some stuff and I don't think he know what he's saying to after he says it. So anyway, they go live. Listen, you said a Hispanic person will go out and work before a black person. I feel like, I'm gonna be honest, they're how I look at it. I feel like sometimes I say I know what I mean. It might because everybody know me. I, it's gonna come off wrong. wrong. It's gonna it come, come off wrong, wrong no matter what. So Corey, you just said what we was trying to get you to understand. You said sometimes I say I be thinking something, and when I say it, it's said the wrong way. So nigga, we're not the problem. Okay. Think about your shit before you say it, yeah. Corey. <laughs> Oh my God, see she even told a nigga you talk stupid sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then he gonna try to say she want him. Corey, I'll beat your ass, flirt with another woman in front of my face, a motherfucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> what you call it that screenshot talking about some I love you? Listen. You I, love you me. Message, you love when me. I, when, you, when I sent that message, you know, I really genuinely thought you was going through some that gun in your head and shit too. I genuinely thought you was going through You posted that talking about some. She don't want some, she loves But no, you gotta understand. When you, when I, you gotta understand. All right. If it ain't about me, <laughs> let's keep it. Not Zoe done claimed for. Next one, Doc. Okay, it's Summer Walker versus London on the track, Erica and Abby, which are his two baby mamas. Summer, as always, goes on the social media and she put their business out like always. We would yeah, never Walker know shit real if she crazy wouldn't right now. get on that damn backup page and post shit. So she goes on there and she talks about London and she says, London is going around DMing everyone around me because he is blocked. He is telling him, if y'all care about Summer, get that nigga away from her. So if anything happens to me, it was him, get a baby daddy from hell. She then goes and she says, I never call him unless it's anything about the child. I've been doing this on my own. I haven't called you in two months because you ain't been doing nothing. You need to stop threatening people and tell them, thank you, weirdo. So I'm guessing he's calling her because she's moved on. He's threatening a new boyfriend. He's threatening her, allegedly. Woo, woo, woo. I've been trying so hard to mind my business, but niggas be pressed. <laughs> so, she so she closed it off with, and come get this car. I don't want nothing from you. And this shit ain't even paid for. I like my cars paid off. Oh, like, damn. God damn. He ain't paid off. Not got a car and didn't pay off. Not gave her a car payment. But it <laughs> anyway, so let's be real. You are dealing with what you was doing to the baby mamas. They was trying to tell you this man was no good. He was deadbeat. He was not a good father. And you was going to be dealing with all this bullshit. But you was going at them like, nah, y'all just jealous. Y'all mad. Y'all this. Y'all that. Woo, woo, woo. And now you sound exactly how they sound 
when they was trying to save you from the bullshit, but you thought they just didn't want you to be with him. Clearly, I mean, I feel they didn't want you to be with him because I, I do feel, you know, when niggas got babies, mamas, they may not be with the baby mama, but there be this connection with baby mamas and baby daddies. But now the baby mamas is on his side, Shonda. Um, but anyway, now you going through what they was going through. So then London comes out and he was like, hey, I'm trying to spare her, you know, because of her mental issues, but Shawty is lying. Like, girl, show the receipts of me DMing who, calling who, threatening who. And on top of that, child, my new girl ain't going for that. So it's like, okay, we need to know you had a new girl. Are you saying you got a new girl because she got a new nigga? Like, what the fuck? So you kind of made what she was saying real, but then I'm like, okay, well, maybe you're the might. only person that, that think these people get new relationships, like, tomorrow? Like, they be in a relationship with somebody the next day. I agree. I feel like they was talking to him the whole time because I mean, damn, especially that uh that boxer dude who dating India Love now. It's like, damn, that was kind of fast. I'd be right. So I'm a doobie coming on the internet saying, hey, y'all leave me alone. Stay out my business. But then you put your business out there. Then you do crazy damn. stuff for people to talk about. It's like, what is it? What you want us to do? So then he goes and says, the shit about the truck was cute. While you had it, put the jury in the armrest. I almost have the shit for me. <laughs> Damn, she ain't mentioned that jury though. Girl, put that jury in though. Okay. Put that jury in the arrest. You just said the truck. Look, she said she didn't talk about that. <laughs> then he said, girl, shit, you still making payments on that ass. <laughs> he said, girl, you still making payments on that ass and titty shit. Talking about the fucking Damn. truck. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta figure out you can pay that shit. <laughs> At least I was paying for the damn truck. It's not paying off on the ass and titties for me. I might have paid that motherfucker off <laughs> if you was acting right. Good God Almighty, was well, it? Where's all the money at? You done made all these sons. He done produced these sons. Y'all can't pay for shit. What y'all paying off? I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> My shit paying <baby>. off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. So then he ends off with when you and me both know that I can buy five Teslas. Well, child, just pay that damn, pay that damn car off. Why did he pay it off? Oh, no. Why did he give it, give it to him? So then he said, well, all Why did he give it to her and it wasn't cow. paid? That's what I want to know. everybody around me know I take care of my kids. Whoop, 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 gotta, gotta, gotta. So then here comes Ebony. And I'm like, oh, shit, it's about to go down. What she finna say? So Ebony said, someone over there talking all that monkey shit about London, don't y'all fall for that. And I'm like, wait a minute, bitch. <laughs> Back up, son. You. She is successful. Who was talking that same shit when she first got with him. Talk about he was this, he was that, he ain't no good, don't take care of the kids, whoop, whoop, whoop. But now... He, you know what? See how the baby mamas do you? Right. She just met her, men her mentality stuck on stupid and ungrateful. Nobody even knew this stripper bitch before London made her. Wait a minute. Calm down, baby mama. Calm down. <laughs> y'all still fucking away. That's what we need to. Is y'all fucking her off? Yeah. Because ain't no way you go from this to this. This little nasty bitch trying to make it seem like he not taking care of his kids when the case is he just don't want you. Oh, yeah, they fucking. They fucking ain't no way she go from dissing him like that to now talking about this. You know what? Well, they fucking. So Soma come back out and she says, Money, you are a narcissistic. You are a pathological liar. This could all be so simple if you would just stop sending threats to people around me and worry about what we got going on over here. Just take care of your baby. And then she goes to Ebony and says, Ebony, girl, hush. Go take your meds. You was just crying for two years about him not being there for your kid. Ebony's a mess. Truth. She a mess. Because I feel like Ebony... You was just mad at him when they was together. I just feel you wanted him to yourself. That's just what I feel. But let's keep reading. And then here come the other baby mama, Erica, putting this up, talking about don't like a dead beat to me. Bitch, you was talking the same shit. Oh, y'all, oh, y'all teaming up. Oh, y'all fight, honey. Yeah, y'all was jealous. Y'all was jealous. They 
doing her like she was doing them. That's what I think is going on. She was really playing in their face when she was having him before she was pregnant. Like, yeah, bitch, he mine. Y'all just mad he with me. And I think they trolling her back and let her see what it feel like. Now, welcome to the team, sis. That gotta be it. Because ain't no motherfucking way y'all taking up for this man when y'all was just doing the same fucking shit when she got with him. I, it just don't sit right with Not me. Not they on payroll. Because I don't have any of your numbers and I don't want any of your numbers and none of y'all have my numbers. It has changed. I don't bother y'all. I am so unpro unproblematic. Hold up! Summer! No, I'm with you, girl, but unproblematic? No, so you, my dear, are messy. She looked okay. problematic. And for her to bring this shit to the internet, I mean, damn, you brought this on yourself, friend. They always bring this shit on themselves. And they be looking at everybody else crazy when everybody else is in their business. You brought me in this shit. Don't, don't play that radio, but I'm going to let you keep going. Listen, public service announcement. You didn't miss it, Diane. Erica, Ebony, London, they don't bother me. Leave me alone. Y'all was terrorizing me for two years, bro, because I was with them. I gave him back. I gave him back. For the same, I gave him back for the same reasons y'all were fucking terrorizing me for two years oh god she's oh, so me, monotone i'm sick of it i tried as best as i could to keep him involved with his children's lives and y'all tried to blame me for it i have nothing to do with it but now that i gave him back why are y'all still with me leave me alone bro i don't know what y'all think this is but we're not doing this for the next 18 years, bro. We're not doing this for the next 18 years. I try to be cool with all y'all. I try to be the big happy family. Try to, you know, have everybody come over for Christmas. Everybody come over for Thanksgiving. I try to do all that shit. Yeah, I hate her voice right now. Ebony, you told me I tried to meet you at, you wouldn't meet me. You just and she's to not a monotone. Uh, uh, bitch, what? <laughs> she's not a monotone person. And she don't want to say love. What song is that? So what song is Summer Walker? Girl Need Love too? Yeah. Well hell. Same shit. Two years I had him. I said, tell I told Linda, I said, bring her here. I want to talk to her. Brought you here. Didn't even tell you. He didn't even tell you I was there. You was mad. Damn, and we talked. Awesome. I'm like, shorty, I had no problem with you. I want to be good. Let's, you know, our kids, they can grow up together. I can't wait till she <laughs> Paris come over to the playroom. I, I, I literally life. thought she was this. Nah, because you was You still wanted to fight. I don't want to fight any of you. I don't get anything from this. Y'all do. Y'all cloud chasers. I get, I look crazy right now. I get absolutely nothing for it from this. I was supposed to have my child, be married like the he would do, and carry on with my career silently. But no, I have to keep dealing with you, Leave me alone, bro. I don't want to talk to you. Let, keep me out your mouth. We have nothing to discuss. You told me to leave you alone. You don't want to be on that family. So cool, bro. I have no problem with y'all, bro. Leave me alone, bro. I'm saying one more time. Leave me alone. Me alone. Leave me alone. And as for London, bro, leave me alone too, bro. Leave me alone, bro. It is so funny that I went on a date. I went on a date with... With with uh the stepfather of your child, because you wouldn't okay, all right? Damn! All right. Now she said the stepfather? Ooh, that would have pissed me off right there. You know what I date? And the next day I get all these threats. And Leave me alone. This man out here got all these women going crazy. That's what they say. Be careful who you lay down with. You lay down. <laughs> Faith, it's the fact that you thought... Summerella was Summer Walker, bitch. And I thought Sism was Summerella. I mean, what? <laughs> Mighty well. I thought Sism was Summer Walker. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's terrible. Yeah, I'm with you, like friend. You ain't by yourself, woman. bitch. Then it turned crazy. Erica crazy, and now London crazy. I mean, and now some are crazy. All right, y'all done slept with this crazy man. He done nutted in you, and now y'all done took off his craziness. Now all y'all just crazy. <laughs> you can't lay with everybody. Now he is in you. All y'all acting stupid. Whoo, who the next baby mama? Uh -uh. If it ain't about me, let's be Okay. Everybody Next on the docket, we have Ty Dandler versus Kevin Cole and Shotgun. Now, I'm going to try to break Bridget this down Dandler. fast because y'all know I hate people's drag so much and start saying so much. It just starts stressing me out. Just get to the point and say, fuck you, bitch. I don't like you. Oh, you fake fuck ass friend. Bitch, when you fall out <laughs> with somebody, it's a reason why. So leave it like that. You ain't got to be friends with everybody. Ty goes onto her social media and she says, please stop associating me with people that you no longer see me with. They're not around for a reason. Oh, now the reason she posted that is because somebody had asked Kayla Nicole about the Bondos video and Kayla responded with, it's not coming out, fuck Bondos. <laughs> <laughs> Beefing with people, whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then they realized that they had unfollowed each other. So I'm like, okay, yeah, this shit real. Because I was thinking, hey, maybe they're trying to hype all this stuff up for the bundles video. But child, that got put to a shutdown when the girls kept talking. So then a spectator had said, uh, why y'all always trying to say it's Ty? Why couldn't it be Kayla? And then that's when somebody else responded with, because Kayla brought them the bag, clearly put it in their hand, and they fumbled it. That's when they just said, um, Child, Ty just cashed out on the Rolls Royce. Who really got the bag? Bitch, that don't mean shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that just means you bought a car. I would hope so. Y'all got money, YouTube and rapping money. You better cash out on something. So after Deja had posted that, you know, Ty had just cashed out on the Rolls Royce, they didn't need Kayla for no bag. Kayla went to her story and she posted this. And not only did she do that, she put Ben had, Ben had, Ben had, Ben had. Just cause she been had some shit don't mean she gave it to them. I'm just saying. Ben had. And I'm just like, oh bitch, mama just showed receipts. Like, girl, don't come for me. That's a Rolls Royce. Girl, I did Mac. I did Buna 3. I had a house. I bought three people cars. I bought my own car. Girl, what is you saying? What is you talking about? Don't come to the Rolls Royce, bitch. I done bought five of them motherfuckers right now. In one post, what is you saying? Hello, <laughs> somebody. And I'm just like, shit, you can brag different with Thank the bag, Jeffrey. Hello. Girl, the girls is being messy, girl. I said, this is about to get real catty because you know the Taylor girls love being flashy and fancy, honey. But one thing about Kayla, she gonna let you know what she wants you to know. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna sit back and watch this because this is really something. So then after she put that bend hand, bend this, big bag, Deja come out and this is what she gotta say. I know y'all always think I'm getting to stand behind my sister. Girl, who don't wanna go over this again? Cause we done already went over this, y'all. <laughs> I'm not watching this right now. It's 20 doy bad. Don't even have to we know about my sister. All that shit is irrelevant. Ooh. But then y'all keep bringing up still your man. But I ain't gonna lie, little sister wrote that verse on Still Your Man. That's who I remember. And then you said that y'all are the reason Bundles did good, but not hating on nobody. But whoever said, put so fat you can see it from the back, that's what made the song for me. Nah. And whoever said that, go, Babbage, go, Babbage, you go. You made Bundles go, Babbage, go. put so fat you can see it from the back. Ah, 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 who ah. said it? Who said it? Because that. That's put the stamp on bundles, baby. If it wasn't Deja or Ty, then you didn't make that song. It was and I'm just real about the situation. And if you see Yeah, wasn't that Ty part? <laughs> and we're not talking about been had, been this, been that, been bad, then you don't need to be putting up Steal Your Man 2017, this, that, that, because girl, it's about what you're doing right now. Then Kayla said, y'all gotta shut the fuck up. I won't even trip, but all this down to me gotta stop. Like, what the fuck? I cut y'all off. So why not just leave it at that? And then she outed that Deja was pregnant. I said, oh, not the baby shower invitation. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> she did hot dirty. I don't care. They really must have hit a nerve when they said face. being still currently forever. It ain't about what you got. It's about what you got right now. I thought, oh, they done hit a nerve because this bitch done dropped the motherfucking baby shower every day. I said, Oh, oh, that was no, Kayla? She didn't tell what she was supposed to tell. Damn, now I want to look it up. No, that was petty. Ain't no money been made off of Ain't no money been made off of Ain't no money been made off of At all. None. Not even a dollar. She didn't try to make some damn money. Girl, no, no, no money been I'm made off of I'm not, like I said. The label took the money. Her label. Said, this is what I said earlier. And this is no shade. This is all real tea. I'm not arguing and beefing with no that about 50 mother and then talking to not being insecure on set about it. Like, for real. You know what I'm saying? Because we'll really drop some real tea. Bitch, insecure as fuck. Let's talk about that. So. Why you running your goddamn. What did Johnson say? Your dick fuckers. Um. Anyways. The Bondles music video is not coming out because. Bro, you Girls didn't have the budget. Ty, as simple as that. The girls didn't have the budget. They couldn't clear. They couldn't pay Tiana Taylor all the money. That's the team. They just couldn't get together. Their team was raggedy. Point blank, period. And with looks and everything. Now, I'm just over there like, damn, why is the boy in it? Now, I get it. You know, that's your friend. You got your friends back. But it was just like, damn, you really talk about the girl insecurities online like that. If the girl's insecure and she got problems about how she look, everybody got some insecurities. Oh, just that oh, should have done. I even been said. But honey, I guess there's no rules when you reading the girl and slaying a bitch down, honey. So I mean, it is what it is. But I feel like it should have been between Ty and Kayla and Deja. But hey, who am I to say who can jump into what? But anyway, let's keep going. When my music videos, they have stylists, they have everything up as the artist and do what needs to be done. I had to pull all my strength on all of my stylists, hairs to all this. I had to get all my people to. Get together for the video for it to still not but turn not out right. not only that, it was just a whole lot of jealous ass shit. Oh yeah, her label oh. was very jealous. They kept talking about some, why Talk she gotta wear, chain. why she gotta wear that big chain, why she gotta keep, cause I bought it and I spent a bag on it. If you want your artist to have a chain, big her one. Here. The, why are you so worried about what the fuck is going on? Like I said, if people who didn't hear it, the reason we are not cool and we are not friends is because I felt like I gave a lot to this friendship. And even after told me not to be this girlfriend, she's jealous of you. Check out because her label want to clear it. Her label been trying to get this song clear even when we wasn't friends. Her, uh, who she was signed to, Polo, kept trying to reach out, trying to get this song clear. And I never cleared it because I'm, I'm not no fake bitch. I'm not going to get up there and kick you with no bitch I don't like. Uh, we talked. We got back cool when she got pregnant. We, you know what I'm saying? We put our differences aside. We had our little heart to heart. We was crying with each other. We just shared that moment and I thought everything was good. Everything was good. I was happy to be back around. We put her on a dinner. We invited out all her friends. Um, you know, we made it real special. Did we did her after party? It was just real lit. She, you know, sent me a message just telling me, like, damn, you really like you a real friend. Like, I really appreciate you for that. And so in return to me, I feel like if we real big and you know your you know there for you really going hard behind you whether we was uh whether we fell out or not that's oh we've been made amends so for you to be disrespectful when it's my day for you to show your love and support to me was just so flawed to me like late you supposed to have been the first bitch. you supposed to have been helping put this together like i just don't get that like i just i, I don't know i was built i put the whole i was built different i was raised different like that is if you did something for somebody's birthday out the kindness of your heart you it should not matter oh if God. they didn't return it on your birthday <laughs> now y'all might think different but if you did it because you genuinely did it and you did it for your friend maybe your friend just didn't know how to throw you a party like that and so you're thinking hey i did it for you so you gotta turn around and do it for me if my friend do something for me I'm not expecting it in return. If you do it, thank you so much. But if I did it for you, I did it because I wanted to do it, not because I wanted you to turn around and do the same thing for me on my birthday. If you gonna do that, then bitch, don't do shit for me. After um, Ty said what she said, here come Deja. Hey, girl, I am the fuck over this shit. I'm doing. And if y'all can see. Girl. The comments that she deleted, or whatever the case may be, and then Ty responds to shot. And then. We have already been through this, though. Pulled up late, to my... Late. Please do not... Monday, Monday. Lit the fuck.
Uh, she said, look, I'm not a fan, but your, you and your sister invite me to damn near everything. I'm a fan, but you paid me for a promotion for your partially owned skincare company and lie on your product to boost the sales. Jesus. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop it now. Tell me, since you want to downplay other creators, let's talk about how I pulled up to your crib to speak to you. Then come to realize you and your fam, all y'all live together. I'm like, wait a minute, that ain't y'all. If I had to go five, if I had to go five way on a mortgage, <laughs> I could buy a Rolls Royce too. <laughs> Shut what the fuck? Stop! She said y'all always try to make female creators feel bad. Shit, Taylor girls are making music since I was in elementary. Damn, it's they a, got the same baby. It's about time. The grade is younger. It's about time y'all made it somewhere. <laughs> what the fuck? One more thing that I'm really done with this because I'm like, this is really pissing me off, right? Okay, cool. So, Ty want to post the fact that I could pull up her crib unannounced, whatever the case may be, right? So, I was at a cookout or whatever, and somebody was like, oh, yeah, woo the woo, we know them. Um, they live next door. They literally live right next door to this house that they, they told me, oh, this is where they live at, right? So, you know, me, you know what I'm saying, me think we cool since you invited me to every month thing. Um, you know, I called Ty, I was like, um, hey, girl, FaceTime there. I was like, oh, I'm in your neighborhood, show her the neighborhood. I said, um, I want to come through, say what's up to the fam, and I, I ain't see the crib yet with the woo. Y'all so know everybody like, posted oh, yeah, the video. We trying to get the fuck off Messy Monday. I'm ready to end this video because we already talked about this. I'm over it. I'll be home in an hour. This is literally what yeah. she said, and I quote, yeah, girl, I'll be home in an hour. You can come with the woo. So I'm like, okay, cool. Y'all, like, three, four hours pass, right? Three, four hours pass. My boyfriend like, all right, let's go. You finna go. So I'm like, oh, what? You know what I'm saying? Let me go to the house real quick. It's been past the hour mark that she said she was going to be here. And let me just go say, what's up? I get to the crib or whatever. I look in the driveway. Just make sure this really the house. I'm looking. You know what I'm saying? I see, like, four or five cars in the driveway. Um, I see both top cars in the driveway. And I see her mama car, her daddy car, and I think her sister car. So I go up to the door, y'all. Mind y'all, the door is like a glass door. You literally can see everything. It's like a little blurry glass door that you can, like, see everything in. So I knock on the door, right? Yeah, because I'm over it. Yeah, okay. I'm over it. Like, you know what I'm saying? The way I going to pop up and if you look in the video there was somebody shadow moving in the house so shot ain't lying y'all told that girl to come over she looked in and people in the house moving around if you didn't want her to come you should have said i don't want company the girl didn't just pop up but anyway shot oh there's a whole lot of whole lot of i feel like that would be a good fight Right. Ty and, Sh and Shadow ready. Oh, bitch. So then, baby, Deja come out and let the girls know that she has her um, baby shower coming up. And then, Ty, everything dies down. You know, all the fussing, all the talking, all the all this, all of, all that. And then, honey, that's why you got to be careful what you say about people. Child, they mess with the wrong one. They say don't mess with the child of God. Shy had just said. God gonna humble y'all <laughs> oh if you don't stop what you doing and treating people the way you treating them and then baby not even 24 hours later <laughs> Deja post this. The only reason I'm on here right now is because I just want y'all to value your life. Value your life. I almost just got in a very bad car accident. This guy swerved in my leg head first. I missed him by an inch. Y'all missed him by one inch. Just some good things might happen for me and my family. But just please, please pay attention because I could have been gone just five seconds ago. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't trying to say. Yo, shut your ass up. He wrong. He is wrong. Okay. 
It's not funny. It's not funny at all. Because first of all, I never laughed at her. And I also said, I don't think that that was karma. You know what I'm saying? But him, uh, hey, karma came knocking, but baby, this time it was really something. Ooh, y'all better leave Shalom. She too connected to Jesus, honey, because ain't no way she just said that and this shit happened. And Deja wasn't even involved with none of the and she helped jump in and help you know what I'm a husband I ain't gonna talk about nobody because I don't want nothing to happen to me, 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 me. so anyway that is what it is everything done shut down after that after that accident everything got silent yeah you know what the girls that I ain't talking about shit and I don't blame you so child it is what it is girl y'all better leave that friend get off my screen I'm sick of his ass cause that ain't had nothing to do with nothing I just don't feel like that happened to her because of that situation. You know what I'm saying? These was just a bunch of women talking shit to each other. Period. They all was wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, bye.